Hello and welcome to this little guide about uh, the Olgos as uh, part of my drone boat starter guide. Um, to get things started, first let's implement the fitting we're going to use. So this is from a block from the drone boat starter guide and you can find uh, the fitting in here. And how to import that is rather easy into the game. You just copy this, mark that, copy it onto your clipboard and then go back into the game and here's the fitting window which you can click and then you need to open this sidebar and there are here imp the import and export button. Click that, click import from clipboard and now you have this fitting imported here. You can then click simulate to have a close look on it to see the stats of this fitting, you need to open the attributes and then you can see things over here. You can also simulate if modules are offline. You can see this is the shield hardener. This has effect on your capacitor. If it's running it takes capacitor but it also increases your resistances of your shields. And um, this, this is a passive shield fitted Algos, so you want to keep it range and uh, yeah, control the range to the NPCs you are fighting and um, yeah, so we have this here. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out the Valkyries here, which do explosive damage. That's good against Angel Space, but I want them to shoot at Serpentis, so I change this to Vespa's drones. And then I'm gonna close that for the time being and click here, fit ship. And then I see, okay, I have a couple of stuff missing. Click buy all and I'm uh, into Dixie, which is somewhat of a trade up. And you can find all that these things on the market here. So I check this fit rigs, so my rigs get applied. And then I'm gonna remin it my ship. Don't leave the default names in here. You give away information to other people if you keep it like passive shield Argos. Everybody knows it's a passive shield Argos, right? So then I click fit here. And now I should have here you can already see it in the ship hanger. Here is my ship. You can see the antimatter was loaded into cargo, the drones were loaded in. And if I go on exit simulation now, you can also see the fitting was applied. Nice. Okay, so let's run a combat site with this. Huh? I'm gonna undock. And find ourselves a combat site. So nothing in here. You can already see that I have the core probe scanner open. You can open that with this little button down here. Yeah, scanners, core probe scanner. If I click again, it's gone. And it's gone. But there are no uh, combat sites in this system. But we have a couple of 5x on this undock. Nice. Okay, so let's head on. Uh, jump a couple of gates. While we're traveling, I'm gonna go active. over the UI here. Wow, so much fireworks. <laughs> okay. So now you can see you have all your turrets, uh, each individual. Now you, what you could do is like load each individual. You can open the context menu and load antimatter in here. But usually you want to activate them all at once. So you can either drag them over each other or you can click this little uh, button here which is group all windows. Click that and you have them all together. Now five guns are stacked and you can activate them with one click of a button. Let's jump the gate. Let's see, okay, there's just a cosmic signature. We don't have a core probe scanner, so we cannot find those. Drive active. Okay, then let's also uh, load some antimatter and rearrange our buttons. So, let's do like that. Yeah, like it like this. Okay. If you don't see the passive modules here, you, that's a checkbox you can open down here. Uh, which is display passive modules. If you want, don't, don't want to see them, you can hide them as well. But I like to have them on in case I use uh, I overheat modules and other stuff takes heat damage. Okay, some 
graphic glitchy and gate flickering. You should update my graphic drivers. Okay, no sh no no sights here. Um, we're looking for um, cosmic anomalies. I think is the name. Yeah, anomalies. And those are uh, are highlighted green, and you can directly warp them from your probe scan window. Do you also want to adjust this? Uh, let's hide the D scan. Do you also want to adjust this our drone window? Here is already one group, which is the acolyte group. But I also want to have uh, these uh, five drones together in one, so I can mark both of them. And when we jumped, yeah, mark both. Right-click, move drone into DPS. Okay. And now they are into the DPS group together. And you may notice these are um, the Vespas are two medium class drones and Hobgoblins are three uh, light drones. That's a unique thing with the Magus because it has the drone bandwidth of 20, uh, 35. It can use uh, this kind of unique setup of two mediums and three lights. Okay, so now we have uh, grouped our drones. What we also can do is mark group as favorite for launching. And now, uh, if you have your hotkeys set up, let's see. Have I? Have I? Uh, no, I, <laughs> I don't have my hotkey. Ah, yeah, that's that's all key I had. I have it at Shift E. That's not by default, you can set the, these hotkeys yourself. And now my drones were launched into space. And with another hotkey they should come back. Yeah. So you can set yourself hotkeys to use those. Um, the default one to engage a target should be F. So let's try that if that still works. Um, disable light background so we can see things happening. Okay, but we have a couple combat uh, anomalies in here. We can check out. Let's go to Refugee, a warp at 30 with right click menu. You can drive active. select the range or just warp directly at zero. I like to warp at 30 because then you are at a, usually at a safe distance. Yeah, and engage in PVE. Okay, we also swap to the PVE overview so I see all the NPCs. And they are also activate uh, the shield hardener. So if you get shot, we don't take as much damage. Double click over here, so my ship goes in that direction. Turn on my afterburner, and then I start locking up the NPCs. Okay, it's you can drag out your drones. You can also to, to launch them. You can also uh, do it like that. It shows also your hotkey you have on, and, and then uh, yeah, launch your drones. Here's my hotkey now, and I click, click F, and the drone says drones engaging this NPC. Nice thing I like to do when flying drone boats is uh, I zoom out and click one of these uh, structures, make, make a right click on it and say orbit, and then I go for 30, which is the first range, and then your ship will ultimately spin around and here, let's also shoot that guy. It's a bit close. Oh, I actually have only about eight kilometers range, so it's nothing is not close enough for my guns to hit him. I also want my drones to uh, show as a list, so I can make it a bit smaller. Let's make it makes it a bit more compact. And you see, my drones are also set to uh, ba -ba -ba, display warning. Where's that setting? Should be somewhere a setting where you can. Ah, yeah, here. You can set them for auto attack and to focus fire. So uh, you always want to focus fire so the drones shoot the same target as a group and they kill that quicker. And also, auto attack is very handy if you want them to engage what is shooting you at the moment. 
If I turn it off, the drones would just idle in space and waiting for my command to do something. Nice. Some skill points from the skill in pre event. And you can see I ki I'm kiting these drones, at, uh, these NPCs at the moment, and they're not reaching me because my afterburner is turned on and I'm kind of on safe distance and my shields only take very little bit of damage. Now, some advanced thing you could do is uh, is to command your drones single-handedly. As you can see, when you hover over that, you can give commands to a single drone, to this first hop goblin here. I could say, attack this target, or return in orbit, or get back into my drone bay. I'll let him, him engage now here. The other drones are doing nothing, because my ship isn't getting hit. So can also mark multiple of those and say engage target with a right click, that works as well. And now the other four drones I have marked engaging this Corellio cannon here. Yeah. And the one hobgoblin is still shooting that guy. So you could like go like this, and that one engages this one. Three hobgoblins engaging that guy. That should be the last Vespa here. Yeah. You can also see which drone is attacking this target at the moment. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering how I, I'm locked this, I, uh, I, the default hotkeys is control, hold control down and click on something to target it. That's a rather handy hotkey a lot of people should use. Okay, so that's the that's basically the easy part about how to fly a drone boat. Basically you get uh, into the site orbit at a suitable range for your ship. For Argos, 30 kilometers is perfect, and then you let your drones do the work, but you also have to compensate them to engage stuff at times. And if your drones take damage, just call them back in. And now I'm going to show you something else. If you hold control, uh, the control button and click and drag in space, you can also make this box and lock everything up at once super handy in PvE, also PvP. Yeah. And as soon as NPCs start shooting your ship and actually hitting you, taking some damage, they, they're all missing here. So I might get go a bit closer. Let's select a different orbit. Maybe go for 15. Then if the NPCs hit my ship or scratch it, then the drones notice that and will attack the target and atta attacks my ship. If the setting was done for auto attack. Yeah, it says there. Uh, should drones automatically attack if aggression is shown to you to you or them. So if the NPCs shoot one of the drones, the drones also shoot them back. Now that's in range, now I can shoot my guns as well. But the guns are more like an extra thing you can use. But the most the work sources of the on the on the Argos, the main damage source are really your drones. Uh, one easy rule you can also apply is medium drones, the two Vespers, onto destroyers. That's a bit of a bigger uh, size chip. And uh, put smaller light drones on frigates. And this uh, has to do with tracking, because light drones track better and medium drones don't track as much. But for that you can have a look at my advanced uh, drones guide. But it uh, goes for much further into detail with that. Okay, I'm thinking if there's anything else I wanted to say with this uh, with this drone guide. I don't think for the moment. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, click the wrong button here. Don't disengage. Yeah. Ah, one more thing. Now this site is completed, no more new NPCs are, uh, are spawning, so you can recall your drones by just dragging them back to the drone bay, or you press your hotkey, or you just say it at the command here, yeah, return drones. Now you have all these racks here. I'm gonna turn off my modules. 
Now you have all these wrecks here, and most of them, most of the time, it's not really worth to loot them. But sometimes you get a special named NPC, which can drop some faction loot stuff, and that's usually worth looting. So you go here, and that you see just some metal scraps. I mean, if you want, you can loot that still, but uh, I usually don't. I usually just run the sites and hope for an escalation, which then can drop much better stuff. But that's something for another video. I hope that was helpful to you, and uh, yeah, see you next time.